Now for the valve body. We're going to disassemble the valve body. I just want you to uh, uh, make a note of this. Uh, this is a vented type valve body. There is vented and non-vented. Uh, the way to ID them is uh, by this little hole right here. Uh, that's a little vent. And uh, your valve body gaskets have to match uh, your valve body. As you can see right here in this corner, that's where the vent goes and you can see it there. By comparison with this other valve body gasket which is for the AW5550 uh, SN uh, which is the most popular unit that would have a non-vented uh, valve body uh, you can see that uh, there's no hole for the vent. If you mismatch this uh, valve body gaskets to their plates uh, you're gonna have some uh, cat catastrophe you know failure on this unit complete burn up uh, so just make make note and make sure that you're installing the right valve body gaskets. Okay, let's finish this valve body. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to install the solenoid relay valve, uh, sleeve and plunger, and the uh, lockup relay valve and plunger. Okay. So uh, here's the solenoid relay valve. The old one, install our new one, put our clip back on, our lock up relay valve is going to be underneath this plate. On some models, these, this valve is going to have a spring just like this one, and some of them uh, is going to be without the spring. Okay. Let's go ahead and install our new one. We'll put a little bit of a simply loop to hold it together. Drop it in the hole. We'll go ahead and put our cover back on. Pressure relief valves back on the valve main valve body. Now always make a note. This one took a check ball in in this position. Some of them will have it on the front face valve body. Uh, this one had it on this position, and the rest of it is just accumulator checks. So we put our valve body there. This was going to take four. Uh, accumulator checks. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Okay. Now we put our spacer plate. Our middle valve body. Okay, this one takes two accumulator checks and a pressure relief valve. Get our gaskets. Go ahead and uh, put them on our plate. Install our rear valve body.
Now on this portion of the valve body, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our filters back on. Okay, that's four filters. It's gonna take two accumulator checks. Okay. Now the front portion of the valve body is going to take the vents, two vents. This is what I was talking to you about. I have a vent right here, vent hole, and another vent hole right here. So we have two vents. We're working on a vented valve body. Two vents, pressure bleed valve, and one accumulator check. Now make note that on some valve bodies you take a check ball here instead of an accumulator check. Either it's going to be one check ball here or one check ball on the other position that we just showed you. Okay, now we're going to assemble. Separate plate gaskets on it. Just remember the vent. Install it on our valve. Two shorter bolts, one here, one here. And then the rest, regular size bolts. something here just to align the plate. Okay. Now that you have all the all the three portions uh, together, then you can start tightening up the plate. solenoids. On some valve bodies it, it, the connector will face down and some of them up. It depends on what type of vehicle you're working on and the year uh, of your valve body. This will go up or it will go down.
always remember that the notch always goes towards you. It's going to be on the green solenoid. Our manual valve. Okay, so there you go. All the steps you need to do to fix an Asian Warner uh, 5550 or 51SN. You're gonna see this. Uh, this is actually on a Nissan Maxima. Uh, they call it RE5 uh, F22A. Uh, you see this on Saturns, uh, Volvos, uh, Chevy Equinox, uh, Pontiac Torrent, uh, different types of people uh, use this Asian Warner unit. So that's it. We have fixed the main problem on this unit. Okay guys, this is a very uh, easy unit to fix once you're done, you know, after the first one you do. Uh, make note that on your uh, overhaul kits, you're going to have information. Uh, it's going to tell you uh, sprag rotations, uh, the main valve body uh, components, it's going to tell you uh, current flow on the solenoids, how they operate. Uh, either you can use a, a low amp probe or uh, you can back probe the connectors and check your current against your line pressures. It shows you uh, pressure taps for pressure testing. Uh, this, this comes in the overhaul kit and also on your correction kit. It gives you all the steps that we just went through. Uh, plus. It gives you a lot of information uh, on the valve body that you might be working on. And they have exploded views of every single valve and every single check uh, accumulator check or uh, check ball, the positions of it, uh, and they uh, have all your valves by name. So don't be scared of this unit. This unit is a very good working unit and it's a real money maker. Happy building.